Hello and welcome to part one of my tutorial about how to model a Nissan Skyline GTR R34 V-Spec in 3DS Max. So to start this tutorial off, I want you guys to go ahead and go to this link right over here and go ahead and pretty much download that image. Once you do that, we're going to go into Photoshop and we're going to open that up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is press the Control U button. Now, by pressing this, it's going to bring up the hue saturation panel in Photoshop, and we want our lightness to be at a value of about negative 50. And uh, this is just good because when you model in Photoshop, I mean, I'm sorry, when you model in 3ds Max, the the actual lines of the mesh that you create turn out to be white, and when you're adjusting your vertices it can get kind of like tedious to to really like look to really like look at your picture and just having it at a darker scale uh, just makes the modeling process so much easier in that respect the next button that you're gonna press is control R and as you can see that toggles your ruler on and off now the rulers are a great tool when you have any type of blueprints and you know this goes for like modeling weapons, helicopters, humans. You can use these to really line up your blueprints and just kind of see where everything sits. So we got the interior seat lined up. The uh the this this blueprint is looking actually very accurate. So this is going to be a, a great reference for us to use. And I actually just found this uh right on Google as well. Okay, so the headlights match up well. And I'm really just kind of going along and looking at like main points on this car and just making sure that the that the blueprints kind of line up with that. So let's look at the fenders. That's off by a little bit, but it's nothing too too major. So we we are going to be using these for our for our tutorials. So go ahead and place one ruler all the way at the top bring one in just touching the side right there bring one in right about there we want to have like I'd say like an even amount of clearance with all these blueprints that we're going to be creating and just kind of begin placing them um, So yeah, once those are all set up, you're going to go ahead and grab the rectangular marque tool and just go ahead and drag this out. It'll snap right to the ruler. So select that, then you're going to want to press Control C, and then you're going to want to press Control N to make a new file, and we're going to name this side. Now as you can see, the nice thing about Photoshop is that it auto-populates your width and height with this photo so just go ahead and click OK and hit control V and you're going to go ahead and save this file as a bitmap image and just go ahead and call that side you could save this as a PSD if you want as well just for file history I'm not going to do it in this case <clears throat> but you you can if you want to that's not a bad idea if you really like to go back and kinda of look at everything that you did so one more time select the top view once again snapping to the rulers and hit control C hit control N to open up a new file go ahead and call that top hit control V control S to save it and that's gonna just be called top dot bitmap do the same thing with the front view control C control N control V
Now, the, the, the reason why in, in my specific uh, project folder, it's, it's telling me um, that, I'm, that I'm overriding all these files is because before I went in and, and went about showing you guys about how to do this in, in, in a tutorial, I actually just went and pre-created these, so that's just to kind of clear that up. Um, go ahead and drag this down, and we're going to use that same dimension for our back view as well. Hit Control C, Control N, call that back. Control V, Control S. I'm sorry. Don't say that as a JPEG. Say that as a bitmap. <clears throat> okay, so. Now that we have all of our uh, blueprints set up, what we're going to do is go ahead and get out of here, and in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually bring the blueprints that we just made, and what we're going to do is we're going to import them into our 3ds Max software, and then we're going to just get them all lined up and then prepare our images to be uh, our reference for our, for our actual car model. So I hope I see you guys in the next video, and I hope you found this valuable.